So I'm sure you've heard the really good news about there being a new sequel in the works for Monkey Island. After 13 years of nothing, we've suddenly got Ron Gilbert at the helm of doing another Monkey Island, Return to Monkey Island, and uh, everyone's raving at it to the point where I don't think you'd be surprised to hear about it anymore. Um, I think no one really believes it at this stage. Anyway, there's not really much that I can add to it. There's not been any footage of the gameplay. We don't know what it's going to be like. Uh, we've seen vaguely what the art style is going to be like. And at this stage, I think we're all kind of clutching for anything. So <laughs> there's not really much I can report on. But instead, I thought I'd take a wee tip, a few wee minutes to go. F I think I'm going to go through. What I... I haven't really thought this through. What am I going through? Anyway, um, as some of you might remember, I released a poll a few years ago discussing how the community felt about Curse of Monkey Island since it was a bit different from the first two games and it is a bit divisive for some players. Maybe not as much as 4 is for a lot of people, but there's some people that aren't happy about the art style for free. Personally, I love it, um, but I wanted to go and check to see what everyone's views were, uh, and that was the basis of my Curse Reflection video that uh, if you haven't seen yet, you can go watch on my channel. I'll put the link down in the description. Um, so you have absolutely no excuse. None. Do it. So anyway, Apart from asking all these basic questions about how satisfied you were with it, I also asked what the community thought was the real secret of Monkey Island. Um, and while not everyone participated in that question, most did. Um, and you know what, some of you were really, really funny. Um, the others, well, do you know what, maybe you can get a career as a YouTuber or something. But, yeah, I thought I'd go through today, because I'd never really used that information apart from all the vital stuff. I, this was originally just a joke, but you know what? I thought it might make a little bit of fun, especially since most of the community must have participated. Um, it was shared by Mixing Mojo, or um, the International House of Mojo, um, which for me someone who grew up on that website and World of Monkey Island, which is where I got most of my information for the pop culture videos when I was growing up. It was a big deal. I was ecstatic. So I wanted to go through some of these hilarious responses you put to what really is the secret of Monkey Island. Uh, to begin with, we've got friendship, which is sweet, um, and quite innocent, which is something you shouldn't get used to, and <laughs> because I should have known better than to give you guys free reign to say whatever you want, because some of these things are NSFW, so if you're watching for your kids, put them to bed, I don't care if it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, put them to bed. Why are they even watching this video? I'm definitely not kid friendly. Uh, so we've got that, we've got the way you get to the island, get away again, which is boring as um, Ponies? Don't think there was any ponies on the island or in fact in any of the Monkey Island games, but you know what? There's still time, we might find some crucial detail, you might be in the know, you might know stuff that we don't know. Get in touch with me, we'll talk. Uh, the recipe for blonde beard chicken, which is deadly enough as it is, I wouldn't. I feel like that's the knowledge that would get you killed. To be honest, blonde beard seems very, very protective about his IPs. I guess <laughs> I, I don't know if IPs the word for it, but you know what? He'll probably be a bit more bloodthirsty than Disney at this point. Um, the next person said, "Only Ron knows." Um, this is a running theme, by the way, because everyone was so funny enough to say that Ron knows. Uh, I, well, spoilers, guys, I know that Ron knows. 
Stop running, <laughs> stop running my fun. Um, we got Mew. M U. <laughs> That's. I think someone must have got cut off there. Maybe they got murdered as they were saying it. <laughs> Maybe Ron called them, called in his hit squad of the. Uh, <sighs> who's he got? Dave Grossman and. Uh, like, I guess Tim could have probably came in there and just got the piano wire and like, <laughs> uh, So we got that. Um, that is one. The Ron Gilbert is Guybrush's pet sock. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what is a pet sock? Who is a pet sock? <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's not even the other way around, it's not even the guy brushes on Ron's pet sock. Is it like a wee. No, I don't know. That's... Oh. Um, so the next person said mystery and misspelled mystery, which I feel adds the part of the mystery, so. The source of LeChuck's power. I think that's Big Whoop. It could be. I don't know. The, the island is in the centre of the universe. It's the centre of my universe, that's for sure. Um, chickens. Murderous chickens. Fear. El Pollo. Uh, Ron Gilbert Computer. Haha! <laughs> Perhaps one day I'll reach enlightenment and then I'll know. Perhaps we should seek inside ourselves to see if we can find the answer. I'm bored. It's the three headed monkey. Not a very well kept secret, then, is it? The secret of Monkey Island is the crossroads, slash, the gate into hell. Um, I think that is a reference to Tales of Monkey Island, which I have played, but it's been, well, 13 years since I last played it. Um, I do remember the crossroads being in the final episodes, um, and it had Nortra Black or whatever her name was, who was an anagram of Ron Gilbert, very on the nose. Um, I don't think that was a Monkey Island though. Maybe I'm wrong, but no, I, I don't think it was. I don't think Monkey Island was actually in Tales of Monkey Island. The Secret of the Dig development. Never played a Dig. Might play it, but I'm... Dig. Well, uh... Hey, look behind you, a free-headed monkey. You got me. It's an ancient civilization of monkeys. I mean, like, it could be. I mean... The Secret of Monkey Island is monkeys. Could be. Well, they're going to need to make a real end to the trilogy, so we'll find out. <laughs> well, do I have some good news for you? Um, they've got an absolute pessimist here who said absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay, you're boring. The big loop really was an amusement park, and it was just a couple of kids with big imagina imaginations. Do you know, that's very possible actually, um, because at the time, I, I don't know if Ron really ever considered doing a second, uh, sorry, third game um, after the second game, so it could very well be that was how he envisioned the game would end. Um, it's a bit of a weird ending, but you know what, it, it wouldn't be any worse than the third ones, that's for sure. Um, wouldn't be a secret if I told you. We've had many comedians say that. Many. And I'll tell you what, I laugh every single time. Ha 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 Laughs we made along the way, just like the last one. Uh, the kicking ass of Chuck. Again, not really a secret, that happened about five times? Five? Yeah, I'd say about five. I know we can lose to Lechuck in the end, the second one, but we also ripped off his arm, so I'm going to take that as a personal win.
The secret is the secret. Well, way to go, Nancy Drew. <laughs> it makes you want to come back every time. I suppose, I, I suppose it does, except it's when you go back every single time, you're not going to figure it out because it's never been explained. Apart from in 4, with giant robot. <laughs> But I don't think that's really going to be... I, I feel like a retcon might appear at some point. Um, never pay more than 20 bucks for a video game. A lot of you said this, and I think that rings true that, that it does. Um, I know, but I'm not going to tell you. Ron? Is that you? Uh, if I told you, it wouldn't be a secret anymore. Uh, donkeys. <laughs> well, there we go. The secret is of Monkey Island that it was actually misspelled and it should be Donkey Island. Um, someone said the journey we made along the way, and you know what? I think that's nice. I think that is very nice and could be a secret. I think the secret is the journey we made along the way. That it was going to have the ending of Thimbleweed Park in the original Part 3. Um, I absolutely hope not because that was. Uh, that was atrocious, like, I, I like Thimbleweed Park, didn't like the ending, wasn't really a fan, um, no. Um. Do you never pay more than $20 for a video game, scum? It's a secret, and if I told you it wouldn't be a secret anymore, winky face. Can't do it, please. One eight hundred Star Wars. Uh, I'm banned from that number because I called it so often. So I guess I'll never know. I think even Ron Gilbert doesn't really know at this point. <laughs> I, actually, I agree. I think Ron's just been going with this one. Uh the secret. Um, yeah, I'll tell you at some point. He's just like, what is this talking about? The secret was the catacombs, of course! <laughs> there are mushrooms in hell. 42. Uh, that's another one that came up probably about 42 times as well. Um, and again, someone said that Ron Gilbert never came up with one. <laughs> uh, a MacGuffin? Is that some sort of bird penguin? It's a secret so much that I don't even know what a MacGuffin really is. Uh, no one really knows for sure, and that, I suppose that's also equal to that. Uh, someone said, you felt like a cow, I... You felt like a dairy farmer. It doesn't work when you... <laughs> ah, it doesn't work when it's used to come back first. Um, only Doug Gilbert knows. Who's Doug Gilbert? <laughs> do, you, do you mean Ron Gilbert? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um Okay. <laughs> that was all a dream. I suppose that is what uh we were going for. Um the fact that hell is underground it is under Monkey Island, that, that honestly could just be what it is. Uh, I, I can't hope there's more to it. But it's all a game. It's not just a game to me, it's a lifestyle. It's not just a phase, Mom! Still, no idea. Uh, Guybrush really is a kid dream dreaming. Some space-time voodoo mumbo-jumbo, probably. Do you know what? It probably wouldn't be Monkel if we didn't include that, although... I don't know if space is really came into Monkel, does it? Unless you discount all the Star Wars references, I suppose. Fine leather jackets. Do you know what? That is a good secret, actually. There might be a, a stash of leather jackets hidden underneath. Actually, Ron, you can have that one for free. I, I suppose even though it's not my idea, but you know what? You can have it for free. Just have everyone disappointed. And it, the big reveal, the moment we've all been waiting for, is just that there's a tunnel with leather jackets underneath. <laughs> um, sincerely, no idea. At least you're honest. Uh, games can be funny. No. Not my games. That's an easy one. The real secret of Monkey Island is... No. Not you. No, not now. Please. 
I'm not ready yet. Guybrush Freakwood is his own father. And oh, oh, this is a good one. And for some reason, Monkey Island holds the secret. Probably has his long form birth certificate file there or something. Is that some sort of like Futurama? Where he's back in time and becomes his own grandfather or something? The giant monkey. I like more the idea that that thing is a dream and Guybrush and the Chuck are rubbers. I don't know, but I'm disappointed I didn't get to moan about a few things in the survey. Why is he a fire pirate all of a sudden? Also, part 5 and 6 are basically the same part. Come on, mate. Hey, you come on! You know what? They're absolutely different. Do you know why? Because it says part 5 and part 6. They're not the same! <laughs> don't know why I'm getting so defensive about a game that's like... 20 years old. <laughs> but no, you come on, mate! <laughs> <laughs> the next one she says no. <laughs> okay. Uh, dreams do not require explanations. Uh, so you put this here on the off chance that Ron Gilbert fills in the survey. <laughs> you caught me. Uh, the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. Or the second biggest monkey I've ever seen. Uh, look over there, a three-headed monkey. No, I'm I'm not falling for that one this time. No. <laughs> look over there, a three-headed monkey. Wait, I just read that one, and I said I wasn't falling for it. Never pay more than twenty bucks for a. Never pay more than twenty bucks for a computer game. Yeah, you're going to see this quite a lot. George Lucas's original script to continue Star Wars in the 90s. Now that's interesting. I, I, oh, I would... That would be a great secret. Don't know why it's hidden in a game, but... No. A cake. Cake is a lie. Haha, <laughs> funny internet reference. Uh, the friends we made along the way. Uh, that is a peninsula in northeast Oklahoma. Is it? Wait, why are you just looking it up? Let me just see. Well, I'll be damned. Uh, Monkey Island is a peninsula on the northern shore of Grand Lake on Cherokee. It's located 8 miles southwest of Grove, Oklahoma. It is 6 miles long from north to south and State Highway 125. I don't know if you that. <laughs> why am I looking? Why am I looking up reviews from Monkey Island? I want to see who the... Not much to do, don't waste. Um, not much to see. Why is it people feel the need to... There's nothing here, I better make a review for it. Why? <laughs> hey, okay, I'm sorry, that was a slight detour. Uh, the three-headed monkey. That's again not a very well-kept secret since guy first goes around telling everyone about it. Uh, oh, well, spoilers! Never spend twenty dollars on a video, video game. Uh, big whoop. I I don't know if that actually is supposed to be or not at this point. It's just all confusing. Um, there is no secret other than its location in the maze of caves that led to hell. Ron is playing anyone who asks the same question. Could very well be. Yeah, I mean. It's hard to say what Ron really thought. I think when... I feel like it might be... Jonathan Ackley and um, Larry Deher. Um, when they took over for Monkey Island, I think they were the one that poised. Like, it, it might be another secret, or the secret. Because I know Guybrush asked it in uh, Big Whoop and Curse of Monkey Island, so... 
Who knows? Maybe it wasn't really anything. Maybe it was just like this. The secrets, you know? Yeah. The secret of Monkey Island is... That it is all happening in the park of Big Whoop. A daydream by two brothers, could be. Guybrush was in a theme park the whole time. I feel like people really do believe that, to be honest, although... I don't think so, because the ending does imply that LeChuck's done something, so I think there's more to it. A hellish neverworld of unimaginable power. Uh, the way the first game... Oh, I remember this because I did say this on my channel in that video. <laughs> this was one of my favourites. The way the first game ended with the title The Secret of Monkey Island, and then immediately said, featuring Spiffy as the dog in the bar. As a kid, I always thought that Spiffy was the secret of Monkey Island. I like that. That's a really good secret. <laughs> and it was Earth all along. I was wrong. No, I don't know. I was trying to do the Simpsons there. It was Earth all along. <laughs> so instead of having a 20 <laughs> to it, Never spend more than $20. The person said that the secret is actually a $21 video game. Grog. No, seriously, it's the fun you have on every journey. Someone said the guy brushes the secret of Monk Elvin. What does that mean? Uh, TBD, is that to be decided? Um, the gates of hell. So I, I suppose that is just Big Whoop again, isn't it? Uh, so instead of so, the opposite of what the other person said was no, someone just said, yep. What really is the secret of Monkey Island? Yep. <laughs> um, guy brushes underwear, that's a very well kept secret, I hope. Big Whip was an inside job. <laughs> um... <laughs> okay, we've gone into the territory of Monkey Island Conspiracy Theories. The friends we made along the way, uh, those who live there cannot die. Ask Ron Gilbert on Twitter. for it. Okay, someone else said 42 and someone said it's a good family. Well, calm down, is it Vin Diesel? Uh, I, I've never seen a Fast and Furious movie, uh, I don't plan to. <laughs> but it's all about family, family. Um, the secret is, there is no secret. That's disappointing, that's, that's the kind of Last Jedi kind of levels of disappointment here. Controversial, I know. Um, whoop! Playing Big Whoop, it's just whoop. The Chuck is Guybrush's brother. No! Really? Not even Ron Gilbert knows, brackets, despite what he's saying. This seems like a very common theory. I feel like, I think a lot of people here have lost faith in you, Ron. Maybe on the fix that. Uh, kids go to a theme park built on top of an ancient cursed treasure. Um, could be. Uh, someone else said friends we made along the way. Do you know what, guys? We are all friends here, and I'm glad that we could all be experiencing this, this, this together. It's nice. Um, the fact that it's unpossible in a world where every other island is drawn on maps. Oh, what do you mean? Because you can't map it on the... Yes, yeah, okay, sorry, I was trying to figure out what you meant there. Um, the fact that Ron Gilbert is dead and was replaced by a little, like... Doug Gilbert?
Donkey Island is really an amusing park, and Guy Bush is playing make believe. I would say probably. Hey, look behind you, a three headed monkey. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Is that a saying? It's all a dream. Quite lazy writing then. Not explained properly. <laughs> At least you're honest about it. Uh, someone said, who knows? Well, yes, I'm asking if you know. Well, you see, I... And then someone piano wired him as well. Someone else said the friends we made along the way. I, I'm going to stop saying this now because uh, that in 42... Um, and the three-headed monkey ones, uh, funny, but gets a bit old. Um, someone said, you need to ask Ron. Uh, no response yet. Ron Gilbert's soul. The secret is that Ron Gilbert doesn't really know the secret himself. The secret of Monkey Island is... that it can continue to be a lot of fun after all these years. You know what, that's true, I I know that I've played the game so much now that all the solutions are known to me, but you know, there's something about it that I go back to this game and it's just, it's wonderful. It's calming, it's nice, like the atmosphere of Mealy Island in the first game is just beautiful. And I still enjoy it, like, I, I know all the insults. Oh, not off the top of my head, but I mean, I know all of them. So, the point that I could beat the Swordmaster with all the knowledge. Um, but, yeah. It's 30 years on and it's still incredibly fun. Uh, someone said, I really don't know. At least you're honest. <laughs> Love. Love is the secret ingredient. Uh, still able to make you laugh at the same jokes years later. You know what? Yep. That, that just what I was saying. That absolutely is. It's so much fun. Don't think it's a secret, but you know what? It's nice to find that though. Uh, the hellish catacombs under monkey head. Yep. Uh, another person saying ask Ron. Still no response. Of course, it's the mecha monkey. It's canon. Right? Ron would have done the same. Right? <laughs> Only Ron knows. Make him tell us already. I'm trying! That is all a game. I believe Ron touched upon it on Thimbleweed Park. I, I really, really hope not. I, I, I would hate that to be an ending, to be honest. That they are both kids. Um, don't know, but it's not a giant robot monkey. I mean, four would probably argue with you, but you know what? Only the Chuck, only the Chuck knows. It's a new one. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe the Chuck is Ron's self insert into the Monkey Island universe. Maybe he sees himself as the villain in all of this. Or maybe I'm, cl I'm clutching his straws, I don't know. I think we're only halfway through all these. The, the real secret is Ron Gilbert is in fact not a grumpy gamer. Don't let me hear you say that. Um, it's a secret. Uh huh. The secret is in Ron Gilbert's pocket. That it was all a dream. Brownie face. Uh, someone said Guybrush's butt is, <laughs> is the secret. That's a good secret! Um, only Ron Gilbert knows, yep. Uh, there is none. There is no secret, it was just a catchy title, or perhaps it was just the inside of the giant monkey head. Either way, I feel it stuck, so Ron had to think of something. It was just like, I didn't really think it about it getting this far. Um, that is yet to be discovered, yep. Um, after a lot of research, I am convinced that the secret in the first game was the location of the island itself. 
Um, the Secret of Monkey Island was meant to be a this is a long one. The Secret of Monkey Island was meant to be a standalone game and not a trilogy. After that, after that, Ron should have made three games, but he said to leave. <sighs> Leaving LucasArts was the right thing to do in the middle of Monkey Island 2's production, so he threw a lot of his Monkey Island 3 ideas into the second game. The sad thing is that he'll never confirm this, but the chances that his original ending to the third game was the same Monkey Island 2's ending that we all know are high. With Chuck's glowing eyes, maybe it was a way to leave the story open for a sequel. The um, Monkey Island 3A thing probably isn't real, it's just a way Ron can call fans and Disney's attention so he can have an opportunity to relive his IP. I doubt he really has a story. <laughs> this is going on for ages, how did I not say it on a limit? <laughs> I doubt he has a story for a mon new Monkey Island 2 sequel. Um, greets from Diego. Do you know what? I might block this out. Just I, I don't want you to get like lots of thing. You, you didn't send this in you expecting this. Diego, you. Ah! It was Ron's PS build. Build graphics for Crusty Monkey and were good, but the first game had. A darker atmosphere. It was Ron's intention that the player feared being in Monkey Island, but and then it ends. <laughs> so, um, do you know what? <laughs> thanks, thanks for sharing that though. I, I know, I know, I'm, I'm joking. It was really long. I just that's the longest answer I've seen so far. So, um, it's a red herring. <laughs> The contrast between the two is. <laughs> um, an autographed Ron Gilbert t shirt. I would love to get that. Something hugely underwhelming, I'm sure. Yes. This is what I remember seeing, and it's Herman Two Frogs, a big floppy donkey. D <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to say the last word is disc there, floppy donkey disc. <laughs> well, as I can imagine that being the big secret, she's like, "Whoa, Herman, can you tell me what the secret is? How about this?" <laughs> Uh, we've got to keep it PG for the kids, guys. Um, <laughs> that'd be hell, one hell of a secret. Uh, Ron is the secret. I prefer that one to the last one. Um, it's a secret. The secret of Monkey Island refers to the fact that the location of Monkey Island is a secret. That's what the guy above said as well. Um, it's not indicating to a secret within Monkey Island. Alright, well I'm back. I am an idiot and I forgot to charge my camera so it <laughs> ran out. Um, where was I? Um, ah yes, yeah, so the secret of Monkey Island refers to the fact that the location of Monkey Island is a secret. So not indicating to a secret within Monkey Island, just that Monkey Island is secret. Which is a more succinct way of putting it than the guy before. Um, number 42. Someone's wrote it's. Nobody knows, and that's why we play it over and over again, don't we? Smile, please. Who knows? Who knows? Ron said that. It, Ron said that the guy brush was really a banana. That's a plot twist I never saw coming. Proper detailed story on how Lechuk actually came to be a ghost slash zombie slash demon pirate. Still unknown, or is it the big whoop and Lechuk is still clueless? Guybrush is Guybrush is really a boy in Luna Park. Is Luna Park the the, the place on in Futurama on the moon? <laughs> That's a weird connection, unless there's some place called Luna Park that I'm not getting. Maybe that's the pun from Futurama, like, maybe the park in Futurama on the moon is based on something in America, I don't know. 
will be explained in the sequel that we never got. I've got good news for you! Guybrush is a kid at a theme park and this is his fantasy. There's quite a few people who think this, I'm going to stop saying this one because it's came up so frequently. Can't blame you for thinking it, but it's boring. According to me, bracket, even if Gilbert denies it, the secret is revealed at the end of... Oh, no, that's just what I just... I just said I wasn't doing that anymore. Get back in line. Now a person's at 42. You guys are very original. There is a magical cave beneath the island. Sh sure, I I if you mean magical by demonic evil. If we knew, it wouldn't be a secret. Congrats. Congrats. That there is a big monkey head that leads to a system of hellish catacombs inhabited by ghosts. I always thought the secret was as obvious as that. You'd be surprised. There's a ghost ship underneath the island. Yeah, that's another one that's uh, theme park. Although well, they're saying, I believe that Mon Monkey Island's secret is that in reality it's a theme park where people get transported into a pirate world. Bracket. Still influenced by 20th century tech. I suppose that makes sense, since there's a lot of uh, stuff like vending machines, uh, grog machines and all that. Um, secret being the best point and click adventure series of all time. Bitch, it ain't a secret. Scum. Someone said it's a secret. Again, we do not know. Oh shit, that's what, that is what a secret is. Only Ron Gilbert knows. Uh, another person saying it's a fairground attraction. I have discovered a truly marvellous proof for this, which this margin is too narrow to contain. And then, unfortunately, it wasn't big enough, even though the guy above had a uh, war and peace <laughs> written. <laughs> uh, the second biggest banana in the world. Here's the first one. Some mentally confusing thing which is supposed to be open for thought. Maybe it's really deep. Rod Gilbert was being controlled by a monkey this whole time. Hmm. I suppose you know what they say, if you give a monkey a typewriter and it, uh, a, an infinite amount of time, it will eventually write Shakespeare, so I guess in this case, well, the scum gameplay engine and, and the uh, greatest game series in the world. It's the second best running gag in a game franchise. What's the first one? I'd like to know. Someone else said 42, original. <laughs> Uh, someone else said Spiffy the Dog, funnily enough. I know someone above said that uh, there was, and uh, they thought it was as well. Um, but there's no secret, there's no secret. You guys are fun, never pay more than 20 bucks. It's the second biggest secret that I've ever seen. Um, oh, there's another <laughs> three headed monkey behind me. Do you guys take me for a fool? Only Ron knows. Uh, the guy brush actually was a fine leather jacket salesman. Humble beginnings, but you know what? I'll take it. Uh, spoilers, I want to be spoiled. Tell me the spoilers, please. Only Ron knows again. Um, yep. Oh, it's looks like another long one. I know this answer is not what it should be, but the secret? Believing in the genre with utmost care for sure. In my humble opinion, the magic of Monkey Island, good name though, maybe I should tweet this was, is, and will survive thanks to the one dedication and respect to the point and click community in terms of keeping in touch with us uh, by taking care of our feedback, two, following the technological improvements for a better gaming experience, and last but not least, three, enhancing the old school P and C techniques for believing in the video game are one of the finest pieces of art. I don't know who runs this research project, but as a research, research myself, even in forestry, both researchers, man. I hope it will be helpful. Take care of yourself. Greetings from Instant Monkey. That is really nice. Why, why am I so flattered by it? I'm sorry I didn't see this until now. That is really nice. Long but nice. Uh, 42 again. Uh, the fun ride, smiley face. Uh, the little Chuck is immortal. Um, but the sequels will never be as good as the original. 
Well, I don't know about that. I think I do somewhat prefer the second game. And I'm sure that Return to Monkey Island will be absolutely fantastic. Let Rotten Gilbert make another Monkey Island game. That's not a secret, but you got your wish. Guybrush Imagine. Oh, I said I wouldn't even do that anymore. Um, big old fairground from Ron Gilbert's imagination and robbed by Pirates of the Caribbean to continue an epic franchise where the games 1, 2 and Curse were my favourite games of all time easily. Being the mon monkey in a monkey world where all the other monkeys dream of being a human. The secret is this person's love for the series and another person said the laughter is the best medicine. And we've got low fat, high fiber. It works. I got the reference. Wait, what was the question? Uh, the underworld. And then someone said, only Ron Gilbert knows. Uh, someone told me I am rubber, you are glue. Just nonsense, that doesn't work. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Um, port to hell beneath Monkey Island. A marketing ploy to drive game sales by the game title. Probably. Um, I wish I knew is another one. A t-shirt. Um, that would actually be, yeah, that, that, I could see that happening. Just, uh, oh, it's kind of like the Mealy Island um, treasure. Where you get your mind set up for this and it just turns out to be a t-shirt. Um, and after like 30 years of like, pointing what this um, this could be, uh, and it turns out to be yet another t-shirt. Um, I hope if it was a t-shirt it wouldn't even fit. <laughs> um, there is none. Uh, Look, monkey, Dennis Hopper. Who's Dennis Hopper? I don't know. The secret of Monkey Island was a Martin gimmick curated to sell package holidays. <laughs> ah, right. So Oklahoma or the real Monkey Island as well. There's another one. I think there's one in the Caribbean. Yeah. We'll never know how it's better that way. Not to pay more than thirty dollars for a video game. That's not the quote, unless you're dealing with, you know, um, inflation, or you live in Australia or something. I know you guys have it mad expensive there. Big whoop. The Chuck was hiding under the monkey monkey head. I'm still trying to work this one out. I think Ron Gilbert should be should let us know in the final game. Maybe he will. It's a secret that has been kept for generations that must have something to do with a tunnel dug by a gang of monkeys. Shh, the monkeys are listening. I always thought it was LeChuck's secret hideout, and that was the secret. A computer game that no one should pay more than 20 bucks for. So make believe. Love. Don't you see? Love. A video game released in 1990. Again, not a secret. It's well known. <laughs> Unless you're saying, I, I guess you're going for literal what is Secret Monkey Island TM, their game. Uh, the hideout of the truck beneath the monkey head, which is also a doorway to hell. Um, the beginning of awesome series that needs to be on Switch and PS4 in physical form. Yeah, that'd be good. I mean, I, I don't... I own a Switch, um, I haven't really played it in a while, um, and I do have a PS4, um, but I, I am just mostly PC these days, um, but I think it would be really good to get it out to um, a lot more fans. I know it's on PS Now, um, or I think it is, it was there when I saw it before, but that, that, would, that would be really good. Imagination has no bounds. The secret will forever be unknown until Ron Gilbert chooses to reveal it. Well, perhaps 2022 was the day, the day, the year that he's going to do that. The real secret of Monkey Island is where the heck are this 22, 36, or 114? Uh, I think Limited Run <laughs> sent those out actually. I hope you got it. The search is the real joy, that's the secret. It's a video game from 1990. Again, not talking about the game. Um, a lot of people are saying that there's no secret or they make friends. That's been quite a popular one. 
the monkeys are not what it seems. Yeah, back into the conspiracy theories here. Uh, someone's trying again to get me with the three-headed monkey behind me. I get, it's not going to work. The secret is, I'm your father. And should have been there for me. I really had to hear that. <laughs> um, I can't tell it's a secret. Uh, the guy, yeah, someone said again that it's a guy which is actually a fine lever jacket salesman. Um, secret, there's no secret. Captain Crunch is the secret. Ah, oh, yeah, no, actually, yeah, that makes sense because that's the recipe you've used to get there. The location of the island itself, um, I'm not telling you. Ron. Let's check the monitor. Ron, have you got back to me yet? Nothing. Ah. The location of the island itself. No wait. Something better not even told. It should be a running gag, a secret never revealed. I kinda like that as well, I do. The wrong Gilbert wrote them all. Is that including the ones that people don't like? <laughs> the monkey ahead is a portal to hell. The Chuck is the father of Guybrush, but they're also brothers, so that kind of opens up a. I know it might be exaggerated, but at the same time, that's kind of. Uh, I'm your father, but it's been done, okay? I don't think they're going to turn around and say he's just died suddenly. Yeah. The tons of backtracking in adventure games is good, actually. Yes. Actually, I quite like that as well. I like the whole backtrack thing. You know, I, I like it when it's not... I don't like it when it's, like, too open world, you know? Like, widespread. But I like it when it's, like, a bit to explore, you know? I, I feel like maybe... Porto Poyo is probably the best example of that, because it's not too big, but at the same time, it's not too linear at the same time. No secret. Um, you're in a coma, and this is your dream. Guybrush's hairstyle, I mean, come on. He meets the pirate barbers on Plunder Island, and after being on Blood Island, he never sees them again. So how did he manage to get all, all these, those extravagant hairstyles? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, maybe they gave him a trim. Like Rottenham. <laughs> uh, could you imagine Diver showed up in this one and he's just like a middle aged bald guy? <laughs> um, someone said, actually, no idea. Um, the giant monkey head's another one. Again, the friends we made along the way. Um, the monkeys were dead the whole time. Ooh, Shyamalan twist right there. And someone said the real grog recipe. Finally, someone has said the real secret of Monkey Island is Elaine bound and gagged. Ah, well, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna. I ain't going to king shame. That's not me. <laughs> um, weird. I saw that in a a, a poll. I mean, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, that's me actually come. I went through 408 responses. I know not everyone has said every single one, but quite a lot. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's hard to think. Could one of these be the real secret of Monkey Island? I think it's likely. I mean, perhaps Ron himself has seen this video. Or sorry, taking this poll. Maybe he's going to see this video as well, uh, just to make sure I'm, you know, not on the right track. But yeah, it's possible that he's maybe put in an answer here to throw me off the scent. And I think I know which one it is. I think it's Herman Two Frogs floppy donkey. <laughs> oh, thanks for watching, guys. It's just a silly video for this week. Um, we're still working on doing our other videos. Um, it's just another wee knock knock. 
a different format, if you will. Um, and it's just a wee celebration as well, because I know I haven't done Monkey Island in a while now. Um, I do want to cover Tales of Monkey Island. Um, and of course I will be covering Return to Monkey Island when it comes out as well. So I'm, I'm looking forward to going through it guys. Um, I say this every video, but it would mean a lot if you think about subscribing and liking the video, even just sharing it. Um, it's nice to know that I'm going in the right ballpark. Um, with the release of the trailer for Return to Monkey Island, I've actually... I've, my subscribers has actually grown and I'm really happy to see that. Um, I, I would like to see a lot more people see my stuff. I, I hope that people can enjoy it. Um, so, remember, subscribe, like. I feel like such a typical YouTuber at this point. I just need a, I need a brand deal. Someone give me a brand deal. Um, yeah. So until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.